Hello everybody and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be looking at a band I've not heard of before, a band called Widespread Disease. Uh, now they contacted me a short while ago asking if I'd like to have a look at their most recent track called The Condemned. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, trying to do a little bit of research on this band, I came up with absolute diddly squat. It was impossible to find anything on this band. All I can tell you is Widespread Disease is a blackened deathcore band from Paris, France. That's all I've got. Um, I, I searched high and low, couldn't find a damn thing anywhere. So anyway, um, blackened deathcore. I'm intrigued by that. Uh, now, like I said, the track is called The Condemned. I do have some lyrics here. They come from directly underneath uh, the video that we're going to be looking at. So, um, not much else to say, except uh, let's jump into this and see what we've got. So, The Condemned by Widespread Disease. Let's have a look. Ruin of all 
Well, f- me, that was heavy. That was that was not what I was expecting. I mean, when it said Black and Deathcore, I had a sort of vague idea what I was expecting. I did not expect it to be that heavy. I mean, that was that was insane. That. I mean, when that song opened with that bloody insane drum, it kind of reminded me a bit of the Berserker. Um, the Berserker aren't quite as melodic as this band, <laughs> but, you know, it, it gave me that impression. You know, it was that sort of brutal, hard, heavy, straight, in-your-face, you know, we're going to crush your skull sort of music. That was insane. But it was brilliant as well. I mean, they had like those insane drums they had the really heavy sort of like almost gent like guitars um and stuff like that but in the background they also had like melodics like strings and synthesizers and stuff like that which is sort of elements you'd probably get from like the black metal uh, sort of side of things and like it says they are blackened deathcore so you know there's elements of black metal in there absolutely mental i did not expect that way at all that blew me away um in fact i was i was paying so much attention to the actual video i wasn't actually reading the words for most of it so i can't actually tell you for the most part what the song is about but we'll have a look when we go through the lyrics but again you know using several different vocal styles throughout the track you know the sort of ones that you're more familiar with with the deathcore like you've got the sort of semi-clean vocals the screamed vocals the growled vocals and right towards the end he does one of those sort of almost like those pig squeal vocals which i i don't really like that style of vocals um but he doesn't use it very much throughout this track which is a good thing um but it just shows the the different styles that this guy can accomplish and how good he is at it. I mean, he's very good at what he does. And the band, again, very good at what they're doing. Because with um, with a music style like this, it's very easy to just become a mess of sound, you know, a, a horrible cacophony that makes no discernible sense. But this actually had... It had rhythm, it had melody, you know, it had elements that you could very easily pick out instead of it all just becoming one messy noise which like i said can happen all too often in this style of music if not done properly but yeah brilliant uh now the track like i said was called the condemned and from a cursory look it is basically them saying you know um we, we are the outcast, you know, we've been cast aside, we've been ignored, but we're going to fight back because we're proud of who we are, and, you know, this is us, deal with it. Uh, that's what it seems to be. You know, the, um, the, these people are sort of like being cast aside, they've been treated as horrible or evil people, and, you know, they're coming back going, do you know what? We're not who you think we are, but we're and we're going to fight back to prove that we are just as good, if not better, than you. I mean, the the song opens. Will we ever clear our name or outlive this pain? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> We've risen from the ashes. We will not fight in vain. The story of our venture would turn your heads to shame. To escape the reach of God, we'll remain the devil's advocate. Facing hell, we. Th- Excuse me. We fought to thrive, striving to reach the surface. We won't be denied our right uh, to rage once again. (coughs) Excuse me a minute. (coughs) Wow. mm. I don't know what that was, but anyway. Um. So yeah, they've gone. Will we ever clear our name? Will we outlive this pain? You know, we've. We've risen from the ashes. Ashes. We will not fight in vain. The story of our ventures will put turn your head to shame. So, like you've condemned us, you've dragged our names through the mud. You've treated us like dirt. But if you knew where we'd come from and how hard we fought to get to where we are, you'd be ashamed because you haven't done even an ounce of that in your entire life. You know, we, we've worked hard to get where we are, and you're treating us like nothing better than dirt but we've worked really hard for what we've got we've worked really hard to be where we are what have you done 
you know, you should be ashamed of yourself, you know, because we're trying, we're, we're working to achieve our dreams and you're just sitting there letting the world pass you by and you're judging us, you know. It says there, facing hell, we fought to thrive, striving to reach the surface, we won't be denied. So, you know, we, we've gone through hell, we, we've gone through some horrible, hard and trying times to get to where we are. And we're not going to be pushed aside by the likes of you just because you don't like it, just because you think you're better than us. We've worked hard. We're going to have what we worked for. It carries on. I know that we've been mistaken and destroyed our own fame. We accept holy judgments, even if it'll be in vain. We are the condemned. We will never repent. We are the insane. We won't give up till we clear our name. Looking back at the enemies we made, they only made us stronger and increased our rage. Walk through flames and carnage. I know that we've been mistaken, but now we need, we ignite the flame that burns within us so brighter than the one we used to claim. So what it actually sounds like here is they're admitting to the fact that they've made mistakes in their past. Maybe they've done something. Maybe they've done something in the past that's brought this ire upon them. You know, maybe they've said or done something that has made the world at large hate them or the community hate them or something like that. Maybe they've done something. Maybe they've made a mistake and everybody's gone, Oh no, we're staying away from the, these people. And maybe this is sort of like a comeback, an apology of sorts. Maybe, you know, you know, we admit we've done something wrong. We realize what we've done wrong and we want to change that. We want to fix that because we've worked hard to get to where we are, you know, and we're not just going to let that go away because we've made a mistake. We're going to admit to this mistake and we're going to push on. That's what it sounds like they're saying there. Cause it says, I know that we've been mistaken and destroyed our own fame. So they've, it sounds like they've done something that sort of ruined their reputation. Um, and it says, we are the condemned. We will never repent. We are the insane. We won't give up until we clear our name. So, you know, we're the condemned, you know, we've been, crucified by these people because we've made some mistake of some sort but you know we're not going to give up until we get our second chance until people hear our apology possibly you know that might be what they're saying and it says looking back at the enemies we've made only makes us stronger you know so you know we've made mistakes we've angered certain people but at the same time that's brought us closer together and it's it's increased our resolve to push forward and get to where we're going um, anyway, carries on. I know that we've been mistaken, but now we ignite the flame the, that burns within us so brighter the one we used than the one we used to claim. Um, we are the condemned. We will never repent. We are the insane, and we will clear our name. Now our reign is confirmed and desired. We will take the head of the ring. So, you know, that that's that. So it, it does seem like they're saying, you know, we've worked hard to get to where we are and we're not going to let you judge us because we made one, you know, we made a mistake. Obviously, we're, we'll hold our hands up. You know, we've we've ruined our own reputation to a certain extent, but we're not going to just throw that away and we're not going to let you sit there and condemn us for that. You know, we're going to admit to it. We're going to work past it. We're going to do something. We're going to work hard to achieve our goals, to achieve our dreams. And that seems to be it. So you know, it's it's a good it's a good song with a good meaning in its own way. Because it's like, you know, if you do make mistakes, you can get past them, and don't let people just keep judging you on a past mistake. It's in the past. You know, everybody has done something in their life that they're not proud of. Everybody has done something in their life that they wish that they could take back. But if everybody keeps dwelling on that one thing, no one's going to move forward. You know, just because you've made a mistake in the past doesn't mean you're going to make the same mistake in the future. You know, and if people are going to keep judging you on something that you have already done years ago down the line, you know, then that's that's on them. You know, how would they like it if someone turned around to them and brought up something that they'd done 12, 13 years ago, and they're like, hold on, hold on, that's in the past, but they're still judging someone else on something that's happened in the past. 
You know, you can't hold on to the past. If someone's done something bad in the past, fair enough. Be mad at them then. But stop being mad at them now. Because people, you know, are trying to move forward. They're trying to change. They're learning from the mistakes. They're trying to become better people. The past is the past. Just let it go. So, you know, I, I like that. And it was a good piece of music. It was insanely heavy. Absolutely brutal as all hell. That was mental. I really liked it. Um, from what I found in previous research, I think they might have an album already out. I think they had one released in 2017 and possibly one in 2014. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to have to look back and see if I can find any of their old material or any other material of theirs so I can listen to some more. But, yeah, I liked that. But I don't know what else to say, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so. By all means, you can drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you could even message me through my Patreon, where you could also help to support this channel, which would, of course, be a massive help to me, uh, since every piece of... Uh, content I upload to this channel gets immediately demonetized, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, so I make absolutely nothing from any of this. And, you know, many people have said that I need to upgrade my microphone, but, you know, I can't actually afford to do that. I need to change this background, make it slightly more appealing. You know, I've tried to do a little bit, but, you know, can only get so far. Um, so if you'd like to help to support the channel, then, you know, pop over to Patreon and help in any way that you can. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, there is an option in Patreon where you can get your suggestion jumped to the front of the queue if you should so desire it. Um, there is a limit on how frequently you can do that. Um, and that's just to be fair to other people who make suggestions, you know, because if, if you could do it all the time, then nobody else would get a, you know, a chance to suggest anything. Um, and if you do suggest tracks through more regular means like Facebook, YouTube and Instagram comments, do know it could take me a while to get around to your suggestion. Uh, since I do get suggested so many new tracks every single day that my list grows faster than I can record the videos. Uh, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it should get done eventually. It just might take me a while to get around to it. Also, Metalhead reacts as a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose goal is to put an end to hate crimes. And one of the main facets of that is hate crimes against people of the alternative culture. And it's something that I believe in very, very strongly. And it's also something that gets very widely ignored. And that's something that really needs to change. Because every day all around the world, people from the alternative culture are getting violently and brutally attacked just purely for the fact that they listen to alternative music. And, you know, we're not just talking about insults being shouted or getting shoulder rammed or anything like that. We're talking about real violent crimes where people are getting brutalized. People are getting hospitalized, sometimes with broken limbs and sometimes with even more life threatening injuries, just purely for the fact that they listen to a different kind of music and dress in a different kind of clothing. You know. This is something that's been going it's been going on for decades. It's been going on for longer than I've even been alive. But it's something that's never ever talked about. And the last time this was widely talked about was 14 years ago, when Sophie Lancaster and her boyfriend Rob Maltby were violently and brutally attacked by a group of five or six people that beat them, kicked them, punched them, knocked them to the ground, and stamped on their heads so violently that they both ended up in comas. Now, Rob Maltby, he thankfully survived this attack. Uh, he was in a coma for about a week and a half, maybe a little bit longer. I can't remember exactly how long, but he thankfully survived. Sophie Lancaster, on the other hand, she was in a coma for 13 days before she succumbed to her injuries and she died. This young woman was 20 years old and was beaten to death just purely because this group of people couldn't get over the fact that she liked different music and wore different clothing to them. Now, at the time when this happened, this was all over the news, as rightfully it should have been. And this was the, t the the talk of everywhere at the time. You know, everybody was talking about this. But as all things do, you know, new, sto new, new stories come in and it sort of faded into the distance. But since that's happened, since that happened 14 years ago, we've not heard anything since. And that's not good enough. Now, 
on a daily basis, we hear about all these other hate crimes like sexism, racism, homophobia, transphobia, religious hatred, ableism, etc. We hear these on a daily basis. From the most heinous and violent of these crimes, from where someone is murdered because of the colour of their skin, their sexual identity or their religious beliefs, down to the most petty and pathetic of these crimes where some entitled white woman is calling the police because a family of colour are having a picnic in a public space. Now, we hear every facet of these crimes in every media outlet possible, every day. But we don't hear anything about people from the alternative community. And it's, it's unbelievable. You know, a couple of years ago, there was a young woman in Glasgow, Scotland, who was running a charity gig. And during the night, she had to pop home for whatever reason. And it, her home was a five-minute walk away from the venue. In the time between leaving the venue and getting to her home, she was attacked twice by a group of people, again, a group of five or six people, who beat her, kicked her, punched her, knocked her to the ground, and beat her more while she was cowering in pain and fear. Now, this happened twice in the space of five minutes. Thankfully, a passing taxi driver put an end to the attack. He didn't stop to see if she was okay, he just buggered off afterwards. She didn't get any help until she got back to the venue where her friends were. But this wasn't in the news. Nothing was said about this in the news. Why not? Because she didn't die. And that's unacceptable. We shouldn't have to wait for someone to lose their life before something like this gets spoken about. If she had been a member of the LGBTQ community and she was attacked for that reason, this would have been all over the news. If this had been a racially motivated attack, this would have been all over the news. If this had been a religiously motivated attack, this would have been all over the news. But because this was motivated by the fact that she listened to alternative music, nothing. No one said a word. And that is unacceptable. It's not good enough. A couple of days ago, I read something about a guy in Italy who was who looked to all intents and purposes like a goth and he had black nail varnish and stuff like that and he again he was violently attacked and brutally assaulted and they tried to set fire to his hands because he was wearing black nail varnish and what is the reason that they said was the cause of this attack they said it was because he was wearing nail varnish because he was dressing like a girl even though he wasn't he had nail varnish on and was dressed like a goth they didn't highlight the fact that this attack was clearly for the fact that he was a member of the alternative community you know these people set fire tried to set fire to his hands and that again they assaulted him and attacked him because of the way he was dressed and, you know, he was part of the alternative community. Well, thankfully, this did get reported, but it wasn't reported for the reasons that it should have been. Something needs to be done for this, about this. You know, we can't let this sort of thing continue. You know, if we carry on ignoring this, it's only a matter of time before what happened to Sophie Lancaster happens again. And we simply can't allow that. We shouldn't have to wait for someone to die before something gets done. This needs to change. And this is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to bring more attention to the fact that this sort of thing is happening. You know, they, they don't want to see another family go through what they went through when they had to watch their daughter slowly die over the course of two weeks. Nobody should have to go out, leave their house in fear of getting beaten to within an inch of their life just because they listen to different music and wear different clothing. You know, everybody is entitled to be an individual. If you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, find out what their overall goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can. Um, 
And if you can help them out in any small way, obviously you don't feel obligated to do so, but if you could help them out in any small way, whether it's a small donation through their website or even something as simple as one of these Sophie wristbands, maybe even one of those, you know, they've got a whole bunch of other really cool stuff on their web store. You know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to this, the sooner we get more people talking about this, the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice, hatred and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.